and how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest and the greatest gaming news. Your pale gaming news vampire is back at it again, reflecting all the sunlight in my sunroom office. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have chose this room as my office because now that I'm using my face cam, I look super freaking pale. Somehow I have the most useless superpower, which is to just reflect sunlight and look like a ghost. But anyway, you're not all here to hear me complain about about how pale I am. You're here for this new Bethesda inside tip from Tyler McVicky Vickster, Icky Vicky Mick Tyler Durden McSchoolers. Tyler McVicker is an actual trusted inside leaker for a lot of stuff. He's gotten a ton of stuff right and he's given us a couple inside tips into what's going down over in Bethesda town, including some speculative stuff into when he believes Starfield, the Elder Scrolls 6 and Fallout 5 will come out. That's all speculation, but what isn't speculation? as he claims to 100% know that Fallout New Vegas 2 or whatever it's going to be called is actually in development right now and no he's not talking about the Fallout Frontier mod although he did talk about that in in his video in question he actually means that Obsidian is actually working on a Fallout game and he seems to have a lot of information about this that he doesn't want to share because he's being rude but he does seem to say he has a lot of trusted inside sources so today's video is going to be like not as long and not as and not like as maybe substantial in the news department if you don't trust inside sources but according to like the majority of the gaming community this guy is a trusted person he has direct connections with the Dark Brotherhood the Thieves Guild and everyone else which at first may make you think you shouldn't trust him but really those those guilds know everything there is to know that's going on anywhere and they seem to be telling him about New Vegas too but this is the actual source of this information here this tweet right here Tyler the the planetary destroyer Mick Vicker actually tweeted this out literally today and we're covering it right now on the channel obviously because the video is up so you know that already I don't know why I needed to say that part but as you can see right here Tyler says he expects Fallout New Vegas 2 in the latter half of this decade. So if you were hoping for it to come out soon, you are a very sad time right now. <laughs> it's it's not going to be out for a while, but apparently he says that's when he expects it to come out. And like I said, in a video that he actually uploaded, he states that he actually has inside sources that gave him this information. And not only that, but gave him a ton of inf information about Starfield too, apparently. Why aren't you sharing any of this Tyler share some of the information please and the thing is normally I don't ever talk about this kind of stuff it, if some mr. McDoodle pants says he knows things I'm like alright cool bro thanks for knowing things but unless you're gonna tell me something I don't care but the thing is apparently people get mad at you if you say that about Tyler Durden right here because he has been correct so many times in the past so I guess that I have to Give this guy some credibility, and you should too. In fact, Tyler seems like he's a decent person, just judging by a lot of the uh, the like information I've gathered on him by looking into him over the, after this this statement, because I kind of wanted to see how credible this person is. And everyone holds this guy up. He he apparently has been right about a bunch of stuff, including stuff happening over in Valve, which are like a whole nother secretive Bethesda like secret vault kind of thing when it comes to containing all their information and not telling you anything that they're doing. He seemed to had he seems to have had direct connections to Valve that have been correct in the past and apparently Bethesda as well so that's why I'm doing a video on this that's why I'm bringing this to your attention because I know a lot of you would love to see Fallout New Vegas 2 and I would love to see it as well Fallout New Vegas was a great Fallout game and had some amazing gameplay implementations however in my opinion the game was lacking in some stuff I felt like Bethesda did a better job building up the actual world for Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 like Fallout New Vegas felt a little lacking in like the the depth of of the actual world and how much stuff there was to explore and things like that I know some people are probably gonna get mad at me for saying that but the gameplay and like the RPG mechanics and dialogue and stuff and open-ended choices is where Fallout New Vegas shined and I would love to see that again from Obsidian because the Outer Worlds was a great game and the Outer Worlds actually suffered from some of the same problems I felt Fallout New Vegas had except the Outer Worlds had a great world world. It, it's, there just wasn't enough of it. The areas in the map you were allowed to explore felt small in some cases, and some of the quests felt like a little rushed, but but the writing was great, the story was, was interesting, the 
choices you could make in the outer world was amazing however there wasn't that many like armor pieces the 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 weapon system was kind of eh. the some stuff felt rushed and i believe that the outer world was was probably probably rushed but currently obsidian is working on avowed which looks to be their version of a first person elder scrolls style fantasy rpg i say elder scrolls just because that's that's obviously what everyone would compare it to having obsidian being like essentially a direct competitor to Bethesda in some way for obvious reasons. However, I think that we'll get this this new Fallout New Vegas 2 or whatever it is after Avowed. But th this makes me wonder, is it going to truly be Fallout New Vegas 2? Is it truly going to be a Fallout game or will it just be a post-apocalyptic Obsidian game with with a different name? I in terms of that question, I think it would if it if it does happen it will be a Fallout game and obviously Obsidian is owned by Microsoft, Bethesda and Zenimax are now and I think that would give Microsoft some leeway to kind of allow Obsidian to make a Fallout game. I'm not sure how all this works in a legal way but but I I assume Microsoft now owns Fallout and kind of dictate what happens to it in a certain roundabout way because Microsoft owns Bethesda and Bethesda owns Fallout. So if so, in the least, even if Microsoft can't force Bethesda to, to do stuff with Fallout, they can put a lot of pressure on Bethesda to allow Obsidian to do something with, with the Fallout game. And I'm sure Obsidian would be more than happy to do that. Uh, but that leads me to another question. if would, would Obsidian want to? Because Obsidian has the Outer Worlds right now, and that's kind of low-key similar to the Fallout universe. It's, it's like a kind of, it's not apocalyptic, but it definitely has those Fallout vibes, because a lot of the places you go to in that game definitely are, like, not all put together in the best way. They're, they're kind of borderline post-apocalyptic already, and it's kind of like a dystopian future anyway, where the corporations rule everything and people kind of are just, like, a resource <laughs> more than they are actual living things. So with that in mind, would Obsidian really want to make another Fallout game when they have the Outer Worlds and all of its content and games they actually make? Probably yes, because the Fallout because Fallout's are an already established franchise that already will have games coming out alongside the Outer Worlds. And I believe that Obsidian, or at least many of the developers there, would love to make another Fallout game and would love the opportunity to do so and would definitely do it. And that this new game would be kind of like unique enough, it would have that Obsidian vibe enough that it would stand out from Bethesda's Fallout game. So it would be pretty awesome to see, especially if maybe Obsidian makes this new Fallout game in the same engine that the Outer Worlds uses and not Bethesda's engine. Which leads me to another question. Would Microsoft or would Bethesda force Obsidian to make Fallout New Vegas 2 with their engine, with their next-gen creation engine, or would Obsidian make Fallout New Vegas 2 using the same game engine that the Outer Worlds is running on? To be honest, it's kind of hard to figure out what the uh, better choice would be because we haven't seen the next-generation Bethesda creation engine or whatever it's going to be called. Todd Howard has said that this, this engine leap from last generation to the one they're using now in Starfield and Elder Scroll 6 has been the biggest engine overhaul, the biggest engine leap ever for Bethesda Game Studios. So with that in mind, maybe their engine would be better than the engine that the Outer Worlds was using. Who knows? It's hard to say. People are going to argue about their opinions on engines until until the sun burns out and literally becomes a red dwarf and the earth is just a husk. But, but either way, the point is that Fallout New Vegas 2 is apparently definitely happening, according to Tyler McVicker in one of his videos. I know in this tweet, he doesn't say it's happening. It seems like in this tweet, he, he's saying that it, it should happen, or he believes if it does happen, that it'll come out in, in the last part of this decade. But, like I said, in the video he did, he actually states he has direct sources that confirm the game will happen, only... I don't want to show you his video because you know how YouTube is. If you show another YouTube video, that person can claim your content and you can get a, a strike and all this other stuff. So I won't show you the video, but I will put it down in the description below. And the rest of this tweet, he just kind of speculates when he thinks these games could come out. I, I don't think his inside source gave him any direct statements or information or anything for him to base his Fallout 5, Elder Scrolls 6, and, and like stuff off of maybe the Starfield thing because he does say Starfield has another year or two left. Maybe his source did tell him Starfield has another year or two. But even if Starfield did have another year, I mean, that could be like taken as Starfield will come out at the end of this year, that doesn't mean that Starfield would have to come out in 2022 or 2023. Personally, I would be shocked if Starfield came out in 2022. I am almost fully confident based upon stuff I was told that Starfield will come out in November of 2021. What do you think? Do you think Starfield is going to come out in 2021, girl? Aww. 
She thinks it's gonna come out 2021. But basically, I'm being summoned to take care of my overlord, Ayla the Kitty, so that's gonna finish up today's video. Like I said, this isn't anything huge if you don't regard inside sources, but this inside source is apparently highly credible, so I felt like it was worth sharing with you all today, and apparently a lot of other websites are running with this news too, so I figured I would take my jab at reporting on this. But that's gonna finish up today's video. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and and turn notifications on and if you want to help grow the channel and the community you can share this video as pretty much channels only grow when the subscribers actually share the content and the channel and if you want to help my channel grow a lot faster because the YouTube algorithm is ignoring me since I'm a smaller channel you can help share the content and the channel get people to subscribe and make sure you stay subscribed as well because YouTube likes to randomly unsubscribe people since I've been asking you all to share content the channel has been growing a lot faster so thank you very much that is highly appreciated keep doing what you're doing and speaking of appreciation huge shout out to these amazing people for going above and beyond to support the channel to bring you content like this i'm gonna be updating this list here very soon i've gotten some more donations over the last couple of days so i'm going to update this list here at the end of the week with all the new people who have supported the channel and i will keep the the other people on this list as well so if you've already supported the channel you don't need to again i'll just make the list even bigger so don't think your name is going to get taken off this list but if you want to get your name added to this list which will get you a future video shout out in like every single one of my videos from this point forward permanently. You can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. Links for all this and more are down in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when now you have a better idea of what I have to deal with with Little Miss Kitty every single time I record a video. She just goes insane like this. It's always interesting for the most part.